welcome back to another Winona Herb vlog. Uh, last night's episode was called Landslide, and it was not as bad as I was fearing, but I didn't really like it. It's probably my least favorite since episode 6. Um, it, of course, obviously dealt a lot with Willa, who is still around. I'm really gonna need her to get gone soon. I, um, I, f I know I should feel a lot of sympathy for her after what she went through, but she was mean. She was really unnecessarily mean to both Winona and Waverly, especially Waverly. Like, the, the scene where they're talking and she just goes, gee, that must have been terrible for you. That was kind of creepy, actually. It was like, she was six, what did you want from her? I'm getting way ahead of myself. Obviously, last week they found Willa. This week they confirmed, as far as possible, that it is in fact Willa. Willa's dealing with getting her memories back. Waverly and Winona are dealing with her being back. And that's mostly it as far as the plot goes. And then there's some succubus vampire type women, whatever they were. Um, so, first of all, it, I feel like at this point Willa is faith to Winona's Buffy, because there's not supposed to be two at the same time, but there is. So she's gonna have to leave at some point, right? Because otherwise Winona's not special anymore. Um, I really did like Waverly's reaction to Willa being back. That was surprising to me because in my opinion, Waverly is a very open and loving, accepting person, so it was kind of interesting to see her be standoffish and not really glad to have her back and really kind of jealous of her because, I mean, you think about it, she's right. She was very, very young when Willa disappeared. She doesn't know her, and then to hear Willa and Winona going on and on about how close they were and how Winona's not alone anymore, yeah, that, that's gotta hurt. That was a refreshing, it was refreshing for her character, plus it kind of mirrored my own feelings of I don't like this usurper, make her go away. Um, Winona acted more like I expected her to, like, yay, I can sort of hand my burden off, but on the other hand, you know, does this mean I'm not special anymore? But <laughs> the part where she was telling dolls, Willa trained for this, I didn't. You've been doing this for like months now, and sure, you're not great at it, but the revenants aren't very competent either, so I question how much training was actually needed to do this job. <laughs> didn't seem to do their dad much good. Uh, let me see, what else? Oh, dolls! The assassination attempt on dolls. Um, I don't know why they've attempted to assassinate him, if they were part of Black Badge or what. And does that really seem like the best place to go after him, though, while he's at the homestead with the Earp heir? I just feel like there was, you know, in his sleep, while he's at home, just something other than there. Dolls does continue to improve. I still don't love him, but he... I, I liked him better this week. He seemed more alive than he did near the beginning of the season. I liked his talk with Waverly. That was sweet. And, uh... The one part I did like Willa, though, was when she called him a buzzkill, because he is kind of a buzzkill, but his reaction to that was really funny. Like, he was so offended that she called him a buzzkill, like that was the worst thing she could have possibly called him. I really liked that. Um, the big poker thing, that didn't really amount to much. I'm wondering if that's going to be completed next week, because they kept talking about it and then nothing really happened. So I'm wondering if that's a continuation thing. Um, Willa, I also don't entirely trust her, because she saved Bobo, and I'm sorry, every time I say Bobo, I cringe inside. Really? Bobo? Really? I know that name is from the comic, but you've changed almost everything else. You couldn't change that stupid name? Off, off subject. Uh, she saved him. I know he had just saved her, and we don't know quite what that's about. Um, it's possible he knows her since she's been gone so long, but she obviously doesn't, well, She's at least playing that she doesn't know him so far, so we'll see where that goes. And finally, Doc this week. Um, smaller part than he's had in the last few weeks, which is probably a good thing. Um, no, I missed him, but I feel like I'm in the minority there. Uh, I, I want to know who that guy was on the road, because first I thought he was like an angel or a vessel, a ghost or something, but... And now I now I don't know if he was necessarily a good guy. He's not a revenant. Uh, he's not part of Black Badge. At least he didn't seem to be. So who is he? Who are his associates? Why is he invested in Doc being in purgatory? Because he's obviously been following him for a while. Because he he found Wyatt's badge. That part was kind of creepy when he just picks up the badge and 
hears that voice and suddenly the guy's back in his truck. That was like, eh. Um, I'm assuming based on the ending that Doc opted not to go back to Purgatory and tried to press on, but was unable to, and now it looks he's probably going to be dragged by force back to Purgatory, is what I'm gathering here. Um, overall, this was not as good as last week. It's really kind of the weakest one they've had in a while. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm, my point still stands from last week. I'm not interested in Willa. I don't care about her. I want her to go away so we can focus on the things that I was enjoying in the first place. And there was no Nicole this week. That was kind of a bummer. I feel like it would have been nice for Waverly to have a discussion with her about what she was feeling about Willa. But there's always next week. I think there's two more episodes left this season. So hopefully we'll get this all wrapped up nice and neat. Um, and I will see you next week.